So we're going to add together these three vectors. So we're going to get this one here. We always add tip to tail. And my resultant vector will be this one here. It's going to be a small one, but it's right there. So let's figure this out using algebra. So to do that, we look in the x direction. In the x direction, we can have from this guy. We only want the x component. Remember, this is 60 degrees here. So 60 degrees will give me in the x direction I get from this guy, which is 190 cos of 60 degrees. And we're going to get plus from the one that came up here. In the x direction, we're only going to get 100, or sorry, 210 cos 60 degrees. Plus, actually it's going to be minus because in the uh, negative direction, we have 200. So we have minus here, 200. Remember, these are all the Newtons. In the y direction, we only have from pointing up here and pointing down this one laying horizontally doesn't have any y direction at all so in the y direction we're going to get 190 sine 60 now the 190 is pointing down so that will be the negative and the positive one will be pointing up which is the 210 and it's going to be sine 60 as well all of these should have degree signs and when you add these together in the x direction you actually get that these all actually cancel out and you get zero. So we know it's going to be horizontally. And in the y direction, when you calculate this, 18.3. That's measured in Newtons. So we get our final resultant vector has zero in the x direction. And in the y direction, we're going to end up with 17.3 degrees. And it's a positive number, therefore it's going to be pointing upwards. So depending on where you start your um, measurements. This could be here of magnitude of 17.3 newtons.